plaques with you know the corn up 16 foot uh, which is that's the beautiful list read that you know it, it's a very beautiful sound in fact you know these instruments have a very beautiful sound but the problem is they don't have percussion so uh, you know especially when you're low it's really hard to get the notes to speak on, on time and uh, that's a real liability in American instruments why they didn't do it I don't know they because the tone of these instruments Uniquely American, can I say that? Uh, it's not like any of the, these European harmonies. Not, I'm not making a value judgment. I'm just saying it's, it's unique and different to the extent that it's a shame they didn't go a little further with their design. So anyway, any other uh, any questions? Yeah. Yeah, I have a question about the the. Not that piece, but the piece before, the written by the guy in 1982. Uh, so it, at the third no, point, he was born 1982. Well, it, oh, yeah, yeah. He's, he it's was born in that, that time because I don't remember the name. Sorry. Yeah. It is about your pedaling because at a certain point you did an accord. Yeah. That was kind of uh, cut off. So oh yeah. Is that written in the score or is your don't you realize I'm doing that all the time? That's really the only way I'm really get able to get expression in this instrument. Uh, I'm but writing it, the air. Oh, okay, so it's not no because it's, it's, it was very specific gesture linked to a specific chord. So I thought maybe the composer asked you to do it properly in that way in order to get this oh, sound. With that card, you know, it he was says, just a play very freely, which is ah, great. Okay. okay, because it, the effect is very interesting. So, oh, yeah, yeah it was no, uh, absolutely. This kind of, yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. thank you. Yeah, well, you know, I play both the, uh, the European harmonium and this instrument, and uh, of course, what you can do with the European so quick mm -hmm. changes, and with a double expression, you can do balance. But I'm finding that my technique of pumping on the mustel really translates over to this because at the end of the day I'm really just using the air to create phrases and that's it. Yeah. I'm just writing it all the time. I don't know if you notice that. And it's all coming from musical ideas. It's not like, oh, you're sitting there pumping. No. Of course. <laughs> no. All right. So, yeah. Anyway. Uh, okay. I would just do it uh, what you were mentioning uh, the delay of technology or the misplaced technology that may never arrive the percussion piece. Uh, could it be related to the sound aesthetic of the contemporary organ? I mean, the organ Skinner, the big American organ, yes. is just quite slow, but in that way, sort of bombastic, and, mm -hmm. and it takes time, right? To, it takes to time. Yeah. And you have to really strategize your right. so constantly. But so the tone color, I mean, the shift in tone color that make, could help you you know, as, as a beautiful yeah, yeah. Oh no, it's, uh, I, I mean, it's a lot of fun to work on these things. Yeah. It is. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, any other? Uh, it's cool it's that the uh, uh, American Ritorga has uh, this uh, color very soft, and uh, then uh, with the adding of the cross top, uh, you can uh, do a uh, larger. Yes, you can go larger. larger. Sound. Uh, but the uh, uh, German saxon instruments that uh, uh, are like Mann, like the uh, Mann Borg uh, and other you know, constructors, uh, they took this example of, uh, of the instrument, but they uh, gain uh, another kind of sound. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, for the reeds, of course, because uh, uh, American reeds, I see, uh, are uh, uh, thin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In, uh, instead of uh, German reeds, uh, they are fat. <laughs> yeah, well, you can imagine why. Uh, yeah, I mean so they have uh, uh, another kind of sound, uh, less... Uh, <laughs> tender, 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 soft, soft. soft yeah. No, this, this, this. Uh, you know, I have a, a really. My list is in another planet from this thing. It's like a Mack truck, but it's. You can hear 
there, as I say, I have 380 videos up on YouTube. And if you just type in artist world, it has a list org, and there will be da 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 da. You can see. Um, but uh, uh, each instrument has its own strength and its own weakness. I mean, literally. Uh, one, I'm very curious to know, since I've developed enough repertoire for the list, I've done other transcriptions, and there's more stuff that potentially I could record. I'm thinking about doing a list recording like I did of the normal harmonium. But I don't know. I, I only know my list. I don't know mm -hmm. what the standard is. And I'm looking around, like here in Europe, I asked Louis Wiebenauer, I said, do you know of any um, C to C list organs that are in good restoration? He said, not really. They're not here. So maybe mine's it, I don't know. <laughs> you know, but they, I think there are a couple, couple in, in, uh, in uh, a, a, a restore I'm working with now, Hans Herr, who did my Kotiki bits. Co how do you say that? <laughs> uh, he has a double manual list that I'm gonna try out just to mm. see how it compares. So yeah. you know, I'm looking for the best list. There was a fantastic F to F list that uh, Norbert Kramer is selling right now. Mm. You should have, mm. 5,000 5, euros, I hear. Yeah. Uh. yeah. Uh, I played on that in Bern, and I, if I had known about that instrument, I would have recorded the Arthur Bird on that mm -hmm. one. It, it's better than my, my mm. 86K, yeah. It's a wonderful, but it's F to F. Yeah, so but it has the pedal point, it has, and it has everything, and it has additional stops. It's fantastic. The restoration is great. So just FYI. Mm -hmm. so. Good. So I think that there is okay. time for one more question. Any? So, so thanks again. Thanks. Thank you.